<laughs> now. Start button. Wow, unbelievable. Hard top holds up into three different pieces. Let's see how it fits. Notice how there's a seamless transition between glass, pillar. See the hottest cars first with Instant Wheels and InstantRiverside.com. I'm Instant Wheels editor Paul Batista, and I'm here with the all new 2010 GMC Terrain. Now, this is GMC's smallest cross utility vehicle yet. It seats five passengers. Now, it hangs its hat on GMC's familiar bold styling, but what it also does is takes the company in a new direction with a focus on fuel efficiency. The exterior of the terrain is boxy. Now, this front end is blocky, yet it still maintains a subtle upscale look with a lot of this chrome trim here on the grill, as well as down here towards the fog lights. Now, to me, the front end design is not very visually fluid. The way it flows from this large angular nose all the way back over here to these huge squarish fenders, which even make these 18-inch wheels look small in this wheel opening. And that striking styling can also be found on the inside. Now, there were four things that surprised me on the inside of this vehicle. The first one is the ambient lighting that emits from the center stack here. It's very futuristic, kind of reminds me of a Pontiac interior. The second surprise is the center stack itself. Now, it's got a very intuitive layout. It looks almost like a cell phone or some sort of computer control that a consumer would be familiar with. It's very easy to use. The third surprise was the contrast stitching on the upholstery. Now, the interior of this terrain is all gray, charcoal gray, and light gray. In between that is this red contrast stitching, again, adding to that sporty appearance. And the fourth and final surprise, where to put a CD? Now, I was puzzled, but I finally found the spot for it. It's in a little understated slot here with red ambient lighting located underneath the climate controls in the center stack. Now, back to that fuel efficiency topic. Now, GMC is hanging its hat on the fuel mileage of this vehicle. Now, they're calling the terrain best-in-class in the mid-size crossover utility vehicle segment. Now, that means it gets 22 city and 32 highway. But Now, that's achieved with a 2.4-liter inline four-cylinder motor with a six-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. And this motor puts out 182 horsepower. Now, my tester here with the V6 3.0-liter averaging about 21 miles per gallon. The standard features on the terrain continue to impress me. Now, I want to demonstrate this rear vision camera system. So I pulled into a parking lot and set up some cones. Now, what's unique about this system is that the guidelines turn as you turn the steering wheel. So I've set the wheel all of the way to the right here, and I'm going to try to get as close to the cones as I can without hitting them using this system. Well, let's see how close I got to the cones in the back here. Well, actually, that's not bad at all. Only about six to eight inches between the cone and the bumper, so it's an accurate system. Now, the camera is located right here, and remember, this is standard on every single terrain. Now, while I'm back here, I wanted to show you another feature. This does have a $495 option. It's a power programmable lift gate. Now, you might think, well, what's so different about it? A lot of vehicles like this have lift gates that are powered. But this one's different because it'll raise either the full extension or just to a three-quarter extension. I wanted to show you one last feature on the train. It's what they call the multi-flex seating. Now, what that means is basically it's a sliding bench seat. It'll slide either eight inches forward if you have a lot of cargo, or it'll go eight inches back if you want more legroom for your passengers. So, again, that's a standard feature. Now, let's talk money. The GMC Terrain has a base price of $24,995. My SLT1 test model tops out at $33,375. I'm Instant Wheels editor Paul Batista, and this is InstantRiverside.com.